What's going on, guys? It's Will coming back at you with a bias recaps for week five. A lot of things to talk about as we got the, the last game of the of the week coming up in a couple hours. The Indianapolis Colts are visiting the Baltimore Ravens. That should be a good matchup. But uh, definitely want to touch on some things that we saw this past week, starting off with the Monday night. I'm sorry, the, the Thursday night football game when the uh, Los Angeles Rams were at Seattle Seahawks. Um, they came away with the win. Um, hope you guys heard. Last uh, last video there, and you saw that I was that I took the Rams at minus two and a half. They did cover. Um, we're able to pull that out, uh, win by nine points actually. Um, so that was a, that was a good win for us. We were able to cash in. Um, unfortunately, Russell Wilson did go down, so he's going to be missing a couple weeks, and it is going to be Geno Smith season. So that is right, Geno Smith, the uh, you know famously known for being the quarterback for uh, West Virginia University. So we're going to see what he's able to do. He did come in in some in in relief of uh, Russell Wilson after he went down with an injury to his to his middle finger and was able to do some things, thought he could uh, bring his team back, but through an interception uh, in, the, in the last drive, and that was pretty much the, the end of it. So this uh, this upcoming week, they do have a matchup with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to see how they're going to be able to fare. Juju Smith is out, so they're going to be down one weapon down there in, uh, in Pittsburgh, but it should be a good one. It should be a good one. Keep an eye out from, from that. And then let's talk about the game in London where you had the New York Jets going up against the Atlanta Falcons. Man, uh, Calvin Ridley did not make the uh, the trip out there, so it was pretty much all on Cal Pitts and also Cordero Patterson to do their thing. Both those guys had over 110 yards uh, from the scrimmage, from line of scrimmage. You had uh, Cal Pitts over 115 yards, and then you had Cordero Patterson doing his thing on the ground and in the air. Uh, you know, it's 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 kind of surprising because you got a lot of teams that he played for weren't able to use him properly. And finally, he lands in Atlanta, and they're able to use him and his talents to the best of his ability. So you're seeing what he's able to do there, uh, see how that continues to to go. Um, next, let's just talk about a lot of um, missed field goals, missed field goals and, and missed kicks down there in the Green Bay at Cincinnati game. That game did go into overtime. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did have Green Bay minus two. They were able to cover. I was a little uh, little scared towards the end because I thought Cincinnati was going to be able to pull it out. But, you know, Cincinnati was a uh, was Cincinnati and wasn't able to pull, pull it through. So that was a good thing for me. I'm um, able to cash in on that as well as uh, have them part of a parlay. So um, nothing bad. But you got to like what you're seeing in the, in the young talent down there that they got. Uh, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, and the, those boys down there are doing their thing. So Cincinnati, I think they are going to make a turnaround. Um, you know, I got one, one of my good friends down there. Uh, in Cincinnati, he's a he's a diehard uh, Bengals fan. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I know he's he's pretty down over that loss, but I know it's gonna you know good good things are coming for that franchise down there. So that's that's a that's a, that's something good coming down there. Then we got a Detroit and Jacksonville. Listen again, another win this week, another win this week. I don't think that these guys are gonna be able to win a game this season. Um, so it's pretty much like I, get, I said, it's a, it's a race to the bottom. Both these teams just don't don't look good. Uh, Detroit did have an opportunity to win, but then Minnesota surprisingly came, came in and made a field goal at the end. That's not what Minnesota is known to do. Minnesota is actually known to come down and have an opportunity to win the game in the last seconds with a field goal, and they end up missing. So the fact that they actually made it against Detroit is just uh, it's just some bad times out there, man, some bad times. And then Jacksonville, again, we talked about what's going on in Jacksonville. They weren't even close. Um, it was, you know, they, they did put up some points, but – doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they 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 scored less less points than their opponent this past week, and and they got the loss. So, it is what it is. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers, they're four and one. They're four and one. Justin Herbert is looking pretty good. Um, man, the, the only loss that they got was against uh, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Dallas Cowboys. Again, we'll get into this because I am in Dallas. I came to Dallas to go watch my New York Football Giants play play Dallas, and then and hopefully get a win. They didn't. So, um, not not good. Not a good time. But uh, but yeah, the Chargers are looking good out there, and they're they're looking to, to come away with with being the the leaders in that division. So we'll see what's what's to come out there, um, for those guys. It's a young team. Justin Herbert's doing his thing. It just goes to show that, um, you know, in college, University of Oregon, they didn't they didn't use him to the best of his abilities, and now he's in the in the league. Every time I watch him play, um, the only thing that I can think to myself is what was the coaching staff at Oregon doing. Um, because they just didn't do what they needed to do, and and here he is lighting it up in in the NFL. So he's looking, he's looking like very, very good. Arizona Cardinals again, they finish uh, week five undefeated. They did go up against uh, San Francisco 49ers um, against a backup in Trey Lance. Uh, Trey Lance 
didn't do too well, but he, I think he did better than what Jimmy Garoppolo would have been able to do had he been healthy. So, you know, again, um, Arizona did what they had to do. They're five and zero, uh, the the only team in the league that's undefeated right now. So they're looking very, very good. And then you got Justin Fields. Listen, Justin Fields uh, carried his team to another win down there in Chicago. Um, they're looking good. They're, those guys in Chicago are looking good right now. You can say that Justin Fields is actually the best rookie quarterback um, this year in the league. Um, not only what he's able to do on the field, but also it's it's translate into wins for his football team. So you like what you were just seeing there. Again, it's kind of um, bad that it had to happen him coming in with the injury to Andy Dalton, but nonetheless, they signed him. Um, they they actually moved up quite a bit to get him in the first round. Um, and they actually traded with my New York football giants to get him at number 11. So the fact that he's doing his thing down there in, in Chicago is uh, is pretty impressive. So continue to see if you could be able to uh, keep it up. It's been a long time since you could be able to say that about any quarterback coming out of Ohio State. So that's uh, something to look out for. And then last night, let's just talk about the game last night, uh, Sunday night football game, Buffalo at Kansas City. Man, Buffalo, I, I talked about it during the week with, with a couple people, them coming in as an underdog to Kansas City. You know, granted, they were, they were playing in Kansas City, but them to be a plus three underdog to Kansas City, and, and Kansas City hasn't looked good the last couple of games, and they prove that they're just not ready. You know, uh, those guys, they go to the to the Super Bowl the last two years, but I, I don't know what's going on down there. I don't know what's going on down there. There, there was an injury to uh, CEH um, in the game, so we'll see what's going on with that. But Josh Allen, I mean, he's right now, he is the front runner for that MVP spot and, and deservedly so. I looked at a couple books today because, you know, I, um, I may want to take uh, advantage of that right now before week six and before the odds get higher, but he's at a, a comfortable plus 450 on a couple of different books. So go check that out. Definitely go check that out and um, try to put something on him right now because he's, like I said, he's the front runner for the MVP award and rightfully so. He's carrying his team. He's doing everything and anything that he needs to do to get those wins. So that's good. And, um, Yes, guys, listen, we're, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Hey, Will, you didn't mention anything about your New York football giants. We say that to the end, okay? And now it's getting towards the end. So I, I came down here. I came down here, right, um, expecting a good game. I was like, listen, we picked up our first win. I think that we're going to continue with the momentum. We're going to be good. So I want to be in attendance. I want to be in attendance for that for that W. Um, unfortunately, a couple things went wrong. A couple things went wrong. First of all, we didn't continue with the white pants. I said last week that we had to continue to wear the white pants because that's where we got the first win. We didn't, and then, therefore, you know, that added to a, a multitude of different things. Also, there was a lot of injuries. There was a lot of injuries. Um, Danny Dimes is in, in concussion protocol. Barkley went down with a with a leg injury. And then you had Galladay as well leaving the game. And then Kadarius Tony, he was doing his thing. I mean, this guy almost had 200 uh, receiving yards in the game. And then an altercation broke, up, broke out, and then all of a sudden he, he decides to Punch a player with his helmet on. Yeah, so don't know what's going on. I was keeping an eye on that earlier today. I think he's going to get fined by the NFL. I don't think there's going to be any uh, disciplinary action in terms of him being suspended or anything like that. But, you know, nonetheless, I think there's something going to happen in-house. Uh, Joe Judge, obviously, he wants to run a tight ship. So we're going to go ahead and see what he does there. But it's not looking good for my New York football giants. Um, Dallas, I, I hate to admit this, I really do, but um, I I'm – I've been called a lot of things and um, unrealistic is not one of them. So I'm very realistic. Uh, Dallas looks good, man. Dallas looks good. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott looks like a different player. He looks like that player back in Ohio State, um, pretty much just playing play, playing incredible football. Um, Tony Pollard's doing his thing as well. Dak came back from that gruesome injury that actually um, he sustained last, last year against the New York football giants, and he's able to do his thing. And then C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb and uh, Amari Cooper are doing are, are doing great, and that defense looks completely different than than years past. So it's uh, it's definitely one of those things where you know you you you're you're hoping for the best um, in this division. If uh, I, I don't want them to win, obviously I want my team to win the division. It doesn't look like that's going to be likely. So just got to go from there. Um, and then tonight's game, we got tonight's game: Indianapolis Colts at Baltimore Ravens. Uh, the Ravens are favored by seven and a half point. The over under on that game. This, the total is set at 46 and a half. Don't know about the seven and a half with the Ravens. I just don't think that the Ravens are blowing anybody out. So I'm just going to go ahead with the underdog. I'm going to go ahead with you know, Indianapolis Colts to cover that plus seven and a half. Not saying that they're going to win, but I think they're going to be able to cover that. And then I like the over. 
I like the over 46 and a half in this game. Um, look out for that. And then um, some player props always. I mean, just look at the Lamar Jackson uh, rushing totals. That's going to that's gonna be big. Uh, Rashad Bateman was supposed to play. They actually He actually is going to be sitting out today again. So it's going to be something where um, – Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown is going to have to step up. So I like his uh, his totals and, and receiving yards. Take a look out for that. And then Jonathan Taylor, got to look at Jonathan Taylor on the other on, on the other um, team there for Indianapolis Colts. I think he's going to pretty much go off. They're going to have to rely on him on, on the running game to do his thing. So look out for that, those players and, and in player props. And guys, as, as you guys know, we, we do this every single week. Again, uh, you know, out of my element, but I still had to get this out to you guys. Uh, just give you my my recap of what I saw this past week in, in the NFL Week Five, and then also leading up to Week Six. Um, stay tuned to that game; is going to be a good one. Monday Night Football again. I could be found um, on Twitter at biased opinions underscore. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. DMs is open. DMs is open. So just slide on in there. Okay, slide on in there like it's home plate. Talk to you.